Hi loves, today I want to show you some cleaning methods when it comes to our small appliances in our kitchen. I have done a small appliance reset right here at Haley's Help Headquarters. All of the appliances I got are from Wilco. I will add them in the description box below. But for now, let's get in to today's clean. Starting with the microwave, we are gonna be using orange. Orange oil has been proven to have antibacterial properties, making it a wonderful all-purpose cleaner. It works wonders on eliminating not only dust and dirt, but most importantly, germs such as E. coli and salmonella. Orange oil is versatile and effective when it comes to cleaning as the orange peel contains grease and grime fighting properties. So we're going to cut this up. We're going to place the orange peel in a microwavable bowl like so. This is what it will look like. Fill it halfway. Be really careful when doing this method. You don't want to burn yourself. Once you've placed the orange into the bowl, you're going to go and pop it in the microwave until it begins to steam. This is really important because not only are you going to have the orange oil working here on the grease and grime within your microwave, you're also going to have the steam breaking down any of those stubborn food particles that may have lodged themselves into your microwave. Here's a warning, when you use this method, your kitchen is about to smell so delightful. I love the scent of orange, I prefer it actually over lemon, so if you do like the scent of oranges, then this is the one for you. Let's get in to cleaning our microwaves. <laughs> we're going to be using this you can use any multi-surface cleaner i'm just using this one because we're keeping it with all the fruits this is crisp pear and my best advice when it comes to wiping your appliances down is use a glass cleaning cloth you are going to get a much better shine another thing to remember is spray it whatever spray you're using directly onto the cloth. We're then gonna go over the entire microwave. We're gonna buff dry with the other side of this cloth and that is our microwave ticked off our cleaning list today. <laughs> kettle we are going to be using our orange peel again from this bowl this is going to be placed within the kettle this again is really good for the same reasons as what i've discussed on the microwave but also citrus is very good at removing lime scale so if you have any citrus peel hold onto it hands it is going to come in very useful when it comes to cleaning your house another thing we're going to be using is these tea tree wipes tea tree oil is very good when it comes to antibacterial properties and antiviral properties so these are 90 pence for a big packet and you're only going to need one and we're going to be wiping down the outside of the kettle <laughs> Thank you. 
star. As you can see, there are lots of crumbs just lingering around on the top there. I'm gonna be using my Oxo Good Grips, of course I am, can't live without it. And it's got this, this is the one with the little kind of paintbrush nozzle on the end. This is a beautiful thing, Barry, I love it. And for this task, it is very, very good. If you don't have one of these, you can use a old makeup brush. Make sure that it's clean, obviously, first. Or you can go ahead and use a very soft paintbrush. And all you're going to do is, with those crumbs, just dust them inside the toaster. It's fine to do this because we are momentarily going to be removing the trays. So there you go. They are all gone and i'll link this guys in the description box as well because this is a very very nifty tool to have and it's also got this end on it which is very good for getting in like crevices so if you want to go around sections of your toaster this will do it very well without damaging it just to do a bit of detailing we love a bit of detailing here on the Haley's help channel so there you go quite a nifty little invention Now our crumbs are all within our toaster and contained, we can go ahead and remove the sliders here. Look at that. Gross, that needs emptying. Let's do the second one. There's the second one. And these are just gonna go in the bin. Or if you've got a bird feeder, you can also put these in your bird feeder for the birdies. The crumb collectors are going to need washing up. So we're gonna place these in the sink. I'm gonna be using the Sainsbury's Green Care Washing Up Liquid. This is white grapefruit and yuzu, not yazoo, yuzu. Where's your cut point? This smells very, very nice. And at the same time, so we're not filling up basins and basins of water, we are going to wash our microwave plate as well. So do this at the same time as you're doing your toaster crumb trays. Now your crumb trays can go back in to your toaster. And then to clean the outside of the toaster, once again, we're gonna go in with our crisp pear, true clean antibacterial surface cleanser. And again, we're gonna be using our minky glass cloth, spray it directly onto the cloth and not the actual toaster and then just give it a good wipe over. And once you've done this, particularly if you've got stainless steel on your toaster, it is gonna get a lovely, lovely shine. You can, once you've cleaned it, get a tiny pea size amount of hair conditioner and you can buff that in to the metal parts if you so choose. It's the people's choice over here. If you want to do it, you can. If you don't, then don't. Pay particular attention when you are wiping down your appliances, whether that's your toaster, kettle, or your microwave, to any of the buttons. These are going to be high touch areas. So this is going to be where bacteria likes to hang out with his mates and thrive and survive. So make sure that you really are getting in there and cleaning it up. With all of these methods, guys, safety first. Remember, make sure your appliances are switched off. I don't want anyone, you know, getting electrocuted here. And that is the end of the toaster clean. today's vlog guys i hope you found it helpful if you 
did, then don't forget to click the like button. If you are new here and you would like lots of different cleaning tutorials and cleaning hacks, then go ahead and click the subscribe button. And as always, until next time, I love you lots.